Something has entered our solar system, but it didn't announce its arrival. There was no thunderous flash, no blinding explosion tearing through the void. It slipped in quietly, as if space itself bent aside to let it pass. It moved with precision, with purpose, and with a speed that defied every natural law we know. Astronomers first dismissed it as a fragment of ice, another lonely traveller cast adrift in the darkness. But the deeper they looked, the more their certainty began to fracture. What they saw refused to obey the familiar rules of celestial motion. It moved differently, as though guided by intention rather than gravity. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, because what comes next will change how you see the universe, and you won't want to miss where this mystery leads. They've named it Three Eye Atlas, and its final recorded transmission has left scientists in silent disbelief. What they discovered is not merely strange, it borders on the impossible. Some experts whisper theories that others dare not say aloud. The data suggests this object might not be natural at all. Something about its movement, its reflection, its silence, each piece points toward an intelligence at work. Could it be a messenger, a machine, a relic from another civilization lost to time? No one knows, but everyone is watching. I Atlas first appeared as a faint speck, then as a distinct point of light cutting through the black. When its velocity was calculated, Jaws dropped across observatories worldwide. It wasn't just fast, it was impossibly fast. A massive body the size of Manhattan, slicing through the outer solar system at over 137,000 miles per hour. Its path would bring it closer to Earth than any known interstellar object before it. Closest approach, December 17th, marked in red on every astronomer's calendar. They called it a comet, then an asteroid, and finally, when none of those terms fit, they began to whisper the word that terrifies and excites us in equal measure. Craft. One Harvard astrophysicist examined its light curves and came to a startling conclusion. If 3 eye Atlas is reflecting sunlight from a solid surface, its structure must be nearly 20 kilometers across, larger than the entire island of Manhattan. That alone makes no sense. Previous interstellar visitors, like one eye Oumuamua and 2 eye Borisov, were tiny in comparison, fragments no larger than mountains. For the third such visitor to be hundreds of times larger, that breaks every statistical expectation. Either we've been missing thousands of similar objects, or 3 by Atlas is something else entirely. Its trajectory is equally unsettling, perfectly aligned with the plane of our planets, as if it were tracing the invisible clockwork of our solar system. Natural objects don't do that. They drift, they fall, they spiral. But this one, this one follows the path of precision. Was it designed? That question now echoes through the corridors of every major observatory on Earth. The more scientists study the data, the stranger it becomes. Thridtai Atlas moves like a visitor that knows exactly where it's going. The James Webb Space Telescope has now locked its golden eyes upon the intruder. The images it returned silenced every room they entered. Where ground-based telescopes saw a faint glimmer, Webb saw detail, texture, structure. This wasn't a smudge of light against the void. It was a body resolved in chilling clarity, wrapped in a ghostly halo of gas and dust. The surface shimmered with reflective patches, volatile ices sublimating under the sun's warmth, while darker scars crisscrossed its face, ancient wounds from collisions in deep space. It was both rocky and icy, both familiar and alien, half comet, half asteroid, something that should not exist in nature. Its hybrid form suggests a violent birth in the outer reaches of another star system, a place where frozen worlds collide and are flung into the abyss. That halo, faint but undeniable, proved something astonishing. After crossing the unimaginable void between stars, three point nine, Atlas still carries volatile compounds from its home system. It is, in every sense, a time capsule, a piece of another world drifting into ours. When Webb's spectrograph split its light into component colors, the results were even more unsettling. The signature of water ice was clear, but mixed with it were exotic organic molecules unlike anything seen in our own solar system. Complex carbon chains twisted into unfamiliar arrangements, chemical fingerprints that could only form under alien suns. Some believe these compounds might be the universal seeds of life, scattered across the galaxy by interstellar travelers like Atlas. If that's true, 
Then we may be looking at one of the ancient couriers of existence itself. The telescope also measured its size with frightening precision. Thriti Atlas spans several kilometers, an enormous survivor hurled intact through interstellar space. To endure that journey, it must have been forged under immense conditions, perhaps torn free from its star system by the gravity of a gas giant or the death throes of a supernova. It drifts now between the stars, a relic of chaos and creation, and somehow it found its way to us. Its orbit confirms its foreign origin. The path Webb traced is unmistakably hyperbolic. It will sweep past our sun once, and then it will be gone forever, vanishing into the dark. This is no returning comet bound by gravity. This is a traveler just passing through. We will never see it again, and that fleeting nature makes the discovery even more haunting. For a brief moment in all of human history, it is here, close enough for us to see, to study, to wonder. Then it will be gone, taking its secrets with it. Scientists compare it to the interstellar objects that came before. Sayom Wamua, slender, tumbling, eerily reflective. Tai Borisov, a conventional comet blazing with a long tail. But three eye atlas is neither. It is larger, brighter, stranger. Its dual nature challenges every theory about how such bodies form. It behaves not like debris, but like a constructed object, stable, durable, engineered for survival. Yet every measurement deepens the riddle. Its rotation is chaotic, tumbling irregularly, but not randomly. The light fluctuations hint at geometric symmetry beneath the dust, as if beneath its rough surface lies structure, angles, design. The image released by Webb changed everything. For the first time, humanity looked directly at a visitor from another star and saw it clearly. Its presence is no longer abstract. It is real, visible, hauntingly near. To gaze upon it is to realize that the universe is not a silent void, but a highway of travelers. Every star may cast off its own messengers, each carrying fragments of its creation story. And now one of them is here, close enough for our telescopes to touch with light. I, Atlas does not only redefine astronomy, it challenges our understanding of existence. Planetary formation models must be rewritten. Astrobiologists now debate whether such objects could have carried life's ingredients across the galaxy. Philosophers see in it a reflection of ourselves, wanderers suspended in an endless dark, seeking connection. And somewhere in that reflection lies a question, what if it's looking back? Even its coloration tells a story. Webb's instruments reveal alternating zones of brightness and darkness, regions rich in carbon that absorb sunlight and others gleaming with silicate minerals. It's a cosmic patchwork, a relic built from the remnants of multiple worlds, stitched together over eons of impact and accretion. Those same collisions could have carved the pathways for organic molecules to emerge and endure. If this body once orbited a distant sun, then it carries the fingerprints of an alien solar system etched across its fractured skin. Some researchers trace its path backward, seeking the star that birthed it. Early models point toward a cluster of young suns, hundreds of light years away, a nursery of creation where gravity dances wildly. Perhaps one of those systems ejected three pi Atlas long ago, sending it on an eternal voyage. Perhaps it has crossed the void for millions of years, silent and unseen until fate aligned it with our world. Others whisper darker theories. The precision of its entry, the timing, the faint rhythmic flicker in its reflected light that some claim repeats at intervals, too regular, too deliberate. A signal, perhaps. The data is inconclusive, but it's enough to stir unease. Could this be a fragment of technology, drifting long after its makers are gone? or a probe still watching, still listening. The James Webb Space Telescope has done more than reveal an image. It has opened a doorway. Every pixel it captured is a message from another corner of the galaxy. The Ice Atlas reminds us that interstellar space is not empty. It's alive with movement, filled with travelers we've only just begun to see. It connects us, however briefly, to the vast machinery of the cosmos. To know that a piece of another star system now sweeps past our own is to confront the immensity of what lies beyond and to realize how small and how extraordinary we are.